Live, this is CBS 7 News at 6. Your eye on West Texas. For the first time since the 80s, the United Steel Workers Union, or USW, announced a strike at nine refineries yesterday. The work stoppage is happening in Texas, Kentucky, Washington State, and California. Reuters reports that the USW rejected a fifth contract renewal offer from Shell last month, affecting about 30,000 hourly workers. The USW claims the proposals did not meet their health and safety needs. It didn't take long for stories about these strikes and walkouts to circulate among the West Texas oil field social media pages. CBS 7 Sarah Strackhouse joins us from Midland after sitting down with financial and pipeline refinery experts to see how this will impact the Permian Basin. Sarah? Between more cars on the road here in the area and gas prices resting just around $2, you can see that it's a good time to be a driver, but many wonder whether that'll change because of the refinery union worker strike. One basic purpose of a refinery is to turn oil into gas. The daily occurrence. But what happens to the refinery when its workers go on strike? The refineries all have contingency plans, and that's based around using management to do the work that the striking workers would have done. They'll move supervisors in from various parts of Shell to operate the refinery. It will not shut down. With nine facilities on strike, a number of them from Texas, many have asked on social media, what does that mean for West Texans? If anything. The refinery capacity will be taken up by other companies that it's lost by Shell. So it only affects about 10% of the total output. If the strike went on for an extended period, yes, it would impact prices. Mickey Cargill says bad news would come if it progressed into a general strike. Uh, gas prices would help if they stayed down. So, you know, we get a lot more fishing in that way. There's always a little bit of good news. Oh, it'll be, it'll, it'll be worked out. With your eye on energy, Sarah Strackhouse, CBS 7 News.